Hello guys, my name is Joseph Connor and welcome to JC Design. Let's run the intro. Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to go hyper speed in After Effects. So sit back, buckle up and let's get started. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up After Effects and what we're going to do is we'll make a new composition and we'll make that 1920 by 1080 and the frame rate put that up to 30 frames per second click on OK let's rename the composition by hitting enter and I'll call this star burst next thing we'll do is we'll go to layer then new and then we'll create a new solid star field like so click on ok uh, let's go over to the effects panel and then we'll hit cc star burst and then just drag that down to your star field so then we'll go back over to our effects channel and then we'll just type in fill drag that onto our uh, stars and then we'll just change those to a nice white color Okay, so now you've kind of got your star field. Uh, so this effect is pretty much almost there to be honest. Um, so let's just change the scatter first with the stars not too close together. Uh, so something like that. And then we'll take our speed down to uh, zero. We want to put a keyframe kind of when our uh, effect is when the effect is going to happen, when the warp speed is going to happen. So let's go to, let's say, maybe one second. And then I'll set a keyframe for the speed. And then let's go up to five seconds, maybe. This is where kind of we're going the fastest uh, speed. So let's just ramp that up to, let's say, five, the highest. And then we'll put another keyframe in there. So we go down to effect and then we'll just put another keyframe in there. And then let's go along to, let's say maybe eight seconds and we'll drop another keyframe in there and then 12 seconds. And we'll take down the speed to zero uh, we'll just type that in. And we'll add another keyframe. So let's see what this looks like. So let's play it and we'll see how it runs through. So now what we want to do is we want to select the start and the end. And we want to right click and then go down to keyframe assist and then just click on easy ease. So I think that should work quite nicely. So let's have another look and see what we've got going on. So gradually, slow, 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 and then it'll get faster, faster, faster. So I'm pretty happy with that so far. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we want to kind of get the, the streak effect of the, of the stars. So the next thing we're going to add to this layer is another effect called echo. So so echo and then we just drop this down onto the star field like so you can see kind of the effect working already so at the beginning we kind of we don't really want to have too much and then as it kind of ramps up to the highest speed here we want to have a lot so a number of echoes we've got one at the minute um, so let's just put a keyframe where one is and then we'll go up to kind of the highest where it's going the fastest and we'll just ramp that up a bit like so but maybe we put like about i don't know maybe four four hundred see what that looks like uh, let's have a look at that. 
So it's going to run a bit slow. This is quite RAM intensive. And then as it kind of dies down, we want to uh, add, so where are we? Effects. And then we'll go to echo. And then as it gets to kind of slowing down, we want to add another effect. And then as it's slowing all the way down, we want to take this back down to one, uh, the number of echoes. And then we'll just apply that. Uh, let's make this a bit smaller. So once you've done all that, you should have something similar to this, like that. As you can see, there's like small little gaps in the uh, star field. So the way that we'll kind of like bring, uh, get rid of those gaps is if you go to echo time here, seconds, and then we just change this to maybe uh, 25. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, so we've added a lot more um, kind of stars to the field now. And I'm pretty happy with how that looks now. Um, it will slow your, it will slow After Effects down. So I do, if you have a slower system, it's probably best to maybe render this scene as it is now and then re-export it back in for the next steps ahead just because it'll slow your system down quite a lot and uh, you might have difficulty following the tutorial. So I just rendered out uh, that scene quickly just so um, my After Effects doesn't explode. So it's as simple as that. That's how you create the star field. Um, also want to show you how to kind of like maybe add the ship as well. I'll just import that ship now. So I go file, uh, import, file, and then I'll go to, I think it is ship. And then I should just be able to drag and drop this ship onto the composition. So this is just a ship I created for this tutorial, uh, just to give the actual effect some context. And I kind of made these little uh, dials kind of come on and, you know, as the ship's going through space. Okay, so let's turn on the star field. At the moment, everything comes on and then the ship starts flying through space. So just as the ship starts flying through space, um, what we want to do is I'm going to go to my size layer and make it just a little, nope, wrong one. I'll make the, on the ship layer, I'll make the ship just a little bit bigger so it's kind of cropping out to the side. This will help to kind of rotate the ship as it's flying through the star field. So as we're going through, once we get to about this point, um, I'm going to click on the ship and hit R for rotation. So I'll hit the little keyframe here. And then I'll go along a little bit and then rotate the ship kind of a little bit to the side, like so. And then go along a little bit like that and then rotate the ship back minus three. That looks pretty cool. Um, but also I wanna kind of give the impression of like really fast, kind of something speeding up really quickly. So the way that we can do that is if we go back to our ship layer and then hit on hit S and then just hit, uh, so we find the beginning. So we're kind of speeding up there and then we'll hit scale. And then as the ship gets faster, we can actually make the, uh, the actual scene a little bit bigger so it looks like we're going faster and faster and then we hit another keyframe and then we want it to return kind of back to normal uh, so if you copy and paste command C and then command V so then you'll have the idea of something moving really quickly. And then what I wanna do is I wanna add some easing to the first and the last frames. So we'll just click on these here and then right click and then go down to keyframe assist and then easy ease. And this, what this will do is kind of like smooth out the animation a little bit. 
Okay, so once you're uh, happy with your uh, animation, uh, the next thing to do is you want to get it out of After Effects. So the way that we get it out of After Effects is we're going to uh, render it with Meter Encoder. So the way that you render anything, or if you want to render it with Meter Media Encoder, all you need to do is you need to go up to Composition and then go down to Add to Media Encoder. Click on that. It'll take a while to open up. So once Media Encoder is open, uh, your file should come in ready to uh, export. All you really need to know is that if you want to render it out as MP4, as uh, H.264 is MP4. And then you basically click on here and then tell it where you want to render. So I'll just render it to the desktop. And then once it's ready, all you need to do is click on the little green triangle and you're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so once your uh, your video is rendered, uh, you'll find it wherever you saved it. And if you just click on the video, and we'll just see what it looks like. Now my channel is relatively small, and uh, I do get comments on most of my videos, and most of the comments are pretty positive. But sometimes I do get comments that really enlighten me, and uh, you know let me think about like life in general. Uh, here's a good example. Was this tutorial too boring and useless? Just continuously speaking and working less. Avoid watching it. What? Thanks for your enlightening feedback, Yasha. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, it really uh, taught me a lot. Uh, the worst this tutorial on YouTube? Uh, I don't think so. It's definitely not the best, but so you might have a point there. Um, but what I do like to do with, with these type of comments is I like to save them into a special folder on my de desktop. Uh, so we'll just go over to the folder here. Everything seems to get better once I save them here. Thanks for making it this far. And if you liked the video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more videos like this every week.